AA batteries cloud. Um, I'll bring it up once again, but uh, over the last few weeks you've heard me say it, that Ford has been working on a few different characters, and it seems like uh, he's kind of meshing with this Mii Brawler now. Uh, w Batter, though, has hailed from Hawaii, moved here just within the last year, and he's been showing us a very strong cloud. Uh, it's been really exciting to watch him uh, kind of just learn the, the Western Washington meta, uh, but also kind of just show face for what uh, talent that Hawaii has. Uh, I'm pretty excited about Ford's uh, Mii Brawler, though. I mean, obviously a character we've kind of grown to respect a lot more in the last uh, month or so, as esam has been kind of showing a bit more face when it comes to Mii Brawler's potential. I mean, obviously we have our resident FTP, who is like arguably one of the one of the best, if not the best, Mii Brawlers. Uh, so the, the character showing up more often, I think <laughs> I'm appreciating because <laughs> it's going to help us all learn the matchup because the character is so good and... I'd rather like have more experience against the character instead of running into one randomly in bracket and not knowing anything about how to play around this character because Mii Brawler is just so good, but the cloud zoning we're seeing here with this big freaking sword, uh, even when it's unproperly spaced aerial-wise on shield, it's still safe, so uh, sp spacing it well like we're seeing from Dolby Battery and auto-canceling, uh, we're looking pretty solid to stay out of Mii Brawler's uh, kind of attack zone. And uh, we're punishing pretty well so far, Dolby Battery. Battery looking solid in this first stock lead. Alright, cross slash on shield. Nice delay there after the second hit. I do know that Cloud's second, like, cross slash 1 2 is safe on shield. Uh, so Clouds will delay that just for a second. Uh, then determine if they're going to finish out. Uh, hoping that maybe their opponent's dropping shield. Or they can actually stash back. Or reset even uh, another 1 2 uh, first hit of the cross slash. Ooh, okay, yeah, hard call out there for Ford. And that's almost a stock lead for Ford looking really good, too. I mean, he's definitely brought that back with that Ford Smash. The Ford Smash from New Baller is insanely strong, and yeah, that's gonna be an extra 20, I think, oh, just 19 damage there uh, with the suplex, but yeah, back air working out once again, and we're even here in the last stock for this first game. Still best of five, though. We have a lot of time to to work with when it comes to adapting, but of course we're, we're learning quite a bit here in the first match, matchup wise especially, if it's coming down to what it seems like is Ford finding his essentially kind of quick options to get in, whereas Double Batteries is kind of playing relatively patient and spacing well around Ford's options. Uh, goes for the suplex that might have been a proper misinput, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't know too much about what the optimizations are for um, Me Brawler when it's in those situations too, but Still very even here. Yeah, kind of a standard option though. Cloud ledge trapping is very scary, especially the limit, but uh, kind of just switches out the disadvantage state there for double better getting. Oh, wait, that should be a hard punish. Okay, rising there though. Oh, and gets the shot put. Doesn't have limit though. A drop, drop zone neutral air might have taken it there for forward, but kind of just going back to neutral. Hard call out with a prepper, unfortunately. gonna lose the game there uh, with a risky move, but uh, if I wrote, definitely would have taken it just oh, looking at something like that is it. very unfortunate to see. Oh god, so he's watching. Record uh, on. 3 2. Hope you're feeling better soon, Doctor. Um, Jimmy, Carter, you guys can play. Alright, but back at it again. Uh, game two here. Deep breath from Ford. And uh, really, we saw a pretty exciting first match. I mean, we went, went last stock. I'm um, so to see how it progresses. We do know that Double Battery uh, adapts very well uh, when, in terms of like long gameplay, so. Uh, we could see him adapt quite a bit, but at the same time, Ford was getting his really good openings, and maybe he needs a little bit of time to get his like bigger optimization combos, uh, open, like just like this, very clean. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that that would have been a lot more damage. Yeah, that would have been massive too with the platform right there. Okay, it still gets a hard punch with the back air. 
Yeah, I've been really liking um, watching Ford's uh, new brawler develop. There's just a lot of, you can do with the character, but in like its ba <laughs> its base state, it's just like so strong anyways. <laughs> just like Mario. Oh, okay, no job reset. Yeah. How about like a road back in? Oh, that should be. Nice parry on there. And yeah, Cadillac's joining me. Uh, notice on uh, on commentary here for a bit as we are continuing through round robin pool. This uh, double A battery ledge trapping is kind of one of his strong suits. Jeez, back here. Oh, kind of lengthy for. Oh, the double shot put. Almost. <laughs> yeah. That literally would have been like 50%. With the extra invincibility <laughs> got him. Yeah. yeah, that's. That was nice. Get the right tech option. Yeah. But, yeah, we're trying to see more panic options from double A battery though with these upbeats out of shield. Just kind of hoping and. And whiffing quite often on these Mii Baller like landings on him, but so much of Mii Baller's kit is safe on the shield when it comes to just the A button moves. I mean, close. Same with Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why we're kind of seeing like, okay, your turn, my turn. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, um, smash open. Yeah, I shield, you hit my shield. <laughs> you shield, I hit your shield. Exactly, yeah. I'm trying on and on. <laughs> Until someone goes for a grab. <laughs> Never. Oh, okay, that cut his jump though, and he. Oh, okay, just gonna make it back with the drift alone. Oh my gosh. I feel like me brawler could like downward tilt his forward tilt to help catch those. Oh, just because it's a bit faster. Yeah. yeah. Way out there. Well, and like the shot flip can hit him further where he has to air dodge and go low. And it just it hits horizontally rather than vertically like a down tilt would. But I'm not a new baller expert on that one. Yeah, good hit there for four. Rising neutral are not gonna hit him off stage. But yeah. It's one of those matchup things where like even if they cross slash like just above the ground or even just on the ground too, there's there's a lot of options they can choose to get out of that like weird state. They can air dodge out, aerial out. It's like just so little lag immediately after the move. Yeah. Alright, but stuck in the corner once again, we'll just, yeah, it'll work out. This is kind of how W Brothers has been getting all of his stocks, is his ledge trapping. Mm -hmm. That's how he yeah, got me a dust in his place. Oh, really? That's yeah. a lot of keeping me in the corner. Oh my gosh, I'm very good at it. He goes for the finishing touch just to seal things out in a very com confident manner, but oh yeah, pitches this jump there, and that's gonna be game two for Double A Battery. But still very competitive sets we're watching here. I mean, a hard read from Double Batter in the last stock situation. He had a lot of like room to work with with that big percentage lead too. But at the same time, like first first two stocks were looking real even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, very entertaining to say the least. It's been, I, I was excited to see the roster for today's Wake and Cake. I, I knew they were going to get some really good games. You have a lot of people around like similar skill levels, and so I feel like today's going to be a day of like either extremely close like 3 0s because someone's just like finishing out stocks better or like game fives. Yeah. Yeah, Switching Palu. Okay. Um can't say I blame you. Palu is, is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Palu is good. Yeah. Being able to contest like air to air with that invincible back air is extremely nice. And then of course a lot of Cloud's game plan is like short hopping and neutral, and if you can get a, a neutral air started by catching a jump like that, just so many, yeah, there's just so many big strings that Cloud's can can have. Ooh, yeah, good shield from double A battery there, but still gonna get punished pretty hard. Oh, that was terrifying. I, yeah, I would be a proponent of just waiting instead of throwing out the plane. Just wait and see if you decide to go off stage and wait and when you know he's doing that then try to use the flame. Oh, I see. The preemptive flame to call out like a quick man. This forfeits the opportunity to do more with like a power level, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. And then yeah, even neutral air off stage actually sends up, so that's gonna not gonna seal out or like get more cloud off stage too heavily. And this is another character that has a tilt that's gonna be really good at just like down, down tilt takes below your ledge a little bit. Mm -hmm. And something I think that is underutilized that I've been seeing actually been seeing from Chag recently. Is, oh, damn. 
is the the four tilt on ledge. If you wait and catch a, a get up option or jump from ledge, it's so active. Oh, and there's that invincible back here working out that air to air situation for Ford. Oh my god, he's styling in between his thoughts. I love it. I love it. Yeah, give me a heart attack. <laughs> Alright, early percent combo here. Alright, I would guess it's pretty bad for Brawler, yeah. Yeah, Cloud. I mean, just. Obviously, with the fact that we were talking about earlier, like being able to auto cancel a cause aerial so easily and they're safe on shield, and especially safe on shield if you space them correctly, you can just zone out and brawler, but that's gonna be a lot really of damage. damage. Yeah, forward or into... Okay, almost once again calling out forward for landing with an aerial out of this, uh, out of the corner, and actually, yeah, calling him out again with the same situation, but just using cause range there. Yeah, yeah. and they're 0 to 35 percent. Uh oh. Oh wow, offstage cross slash? Jeez, yeah. Huge advantage. That, that advantage stayed from the second stock oh, ran from all the way through the third stock. Yeah, like I know everyone does, but like, I'm like really struggling. Yeah, that was gnarly. Uh, good call outs for, re or for double A battery there. Uh, very clean gameplay to finish things out, and we'll have an air for both of the first two. Yeah, it came down to like four interactions in the last like two stocks essentially, and it's actually.